Hi lads and lasses, Modest Pelican here with a video discussing three upcoming games due to release this year that I have taken an interest in for various reasons. Before I launch into the video, I'd like to say a massive thank you for helping me reach 1000 subscribers. I appreciate the support so much and will actually be doing a separate vlog style video on this next week. Worst case scenario, you die, but who knows, maybe you won't. The first game on my list is Red Dead Redemption 2. In my opinion, Rockstar are one of the best video game publishers out there, with their main game, Grand Theft Auto, always impressing, and the first Red Dead Redemption was no different. I was so impressed with the storyline, writing, and with the huge open Wild West world in which the first installment was played in, and I am almost certain that Red Dead 2 is going to be of similar quality as it launches late this year. Rockstar haven't given much away in regards to the story, though there has been talk and a fan theory that this game will be a prequel to the original, in which you would be involved with protagonist John Marston's former gang. If you like Grand Theft Auto, then you really should enjoy this Wild West version of the game, though for better or worse, it is slower paced. My next pick is the Hannah Montana movie game, where you get to play as Hannah Montana in this immersive, open RPG style. Alright, what the fuck? I can't even finish this joke. Somewhere out there, a developer actually made this game and people played it. Please kill me immediately. Fuck off. Bungie Studios, who created the first Halo franchise and, like Rockstar, are a very talented group of developers, will be launching Destiny 2 on September 8th. I think the FPS meets MMO style game that is Destiny showed real potential in its first instalment, but was absolutely, and rightly so, slammed for lacking content at launch and basically strong arming players into purchasing the downloadable content in order to play the full experience. The developers claim they have been listening to fans and plan to change things and I really hope that this is true and that Destiny 2 outshines its predecessor. But given there is already solid plans for DLC, I do have my doubts. I'm definitely going to keep an eye on this game though, as Bungie's Halo trilogy raised me more than my parents did, and the game's concept is still very strong. Our enemy. His name is Gary! Or Gil. Glenn? Is it? I don't know. It's something with a G! State of Decay is a third-person zombie survival game that sees players scavenge for resources, kill zombies, and build communities in this post-apocalyptic environment to survive as long as possible. This one is just for Xbox and PC only, but if you do play PS4, just remember you will be getting your fix of an amazing zombie game through The Last of Us 2. The original State of Decay was a little bit buggy with subpar graphics, but by and large it was a great game. The part where it lacked the most was having no cooperative multiplayer, but SOD 2 will have 4-way co-op and for that reason alone it should be on your radar. I am expecting big things from Undead Labs with this one, and I am looking forward to getting online with a few mates to kill some zombies and surely troll each other until friendships are broken beyond recovery. Let me know in the comments below what games you are planning to pick up over the next 12 months, or any additional info about the titles I mentioned. I am still going to be posting plenty of Battlefield 1 videos, but do plan to start spicing things up a little bit with other gaming content. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe if you are new to the channel. Until next time, and as always, stay classy.